what's your opinion of Tesla and electric cars? I have some very strong opinions on Tesla. I think that the way I look at it is that Tesla's boss, Elon Musk, likes to pitch it as the people's car, the way of the future, uh, how he wants to expand it in India and China. Now, all, all that is, is well and good, but if you take things on an even keel, there are several caveats in there. First of all, a $50,000 car is not a people's car. Secondly, if he thinks that India and China are the way of the future, and that he wants to tap into those markets, there are certain parts of India where, there is no, where they don't have electricity for 24 hours. So if you put the appropriate caveats in place, yes, Tesla is a force for good. And yes, by extension, electric cars are definitely a force for good. But I think the way we see it at our stage of evolution, I would definitely say that hybrid vehicles are more important. And even in mature markets, especially in North America, where, where Tesla is, is doing very well, it, it's getting all the good headlines. A number of these cars are powered in via a, a power grid that is largely you know, sourced by, powered by coal. So you have this old fashioned fossil fuel powering up the, the next generation of electric cars. This is not square with me. I would say the likes of Nissan, Toyota, have Honda have taken great strides in terms of both hybrid and electric vehicles. And you know, for the next five years, I would definitely back hybrid before we get around to a full scale electric revolution. What will electric cars mean for the price of oil? Uh, that's a tricky one. Uh, I would say for the next, uh, next sort of uh, three or four decades, uh, as electric and hybrid vehicles go up and up, because I think the hybrid would be the first stage of evolution, is that uh, we'll have cars that are super efficient. Even with, uh, with straight cut internal combustion engine cars, uh, a lot of these new models are very, very fuel efficient. So fuel efficiency is the first year, hybrid vehicles the second, and then of course come the electric cars. But I, if that electric revolution is in tandem with how we redo our power grid, i.e. we are relying more on renewable energy, we're relying more on, on nuclear energy, although some people don't quite agree with that concept, when that goes hand in hand with the advancement in electric cars, then you can say that oil is in serious trouble. But at that point in time, I think we will probably, in the next 20, 30, 40 years, the oil price would probably not see as much volatility courtesy electric cars, but shouldn't feel threatened. Are low oil prices bad for Tesla? Definitely. Or low oil prices are bad for all makers of electric vehicles because essentially the way, the way I look at it is at the number of uh, uh, US states, the, the levy, the taxation is, is a fraction of what it is in Europe. And when people see, see cheaper oil prices, they feel less inclined to go for more fuel efficient vehicles. Uh, in America, the concept of public transport, well, it's existed in, in places like New York and Boston. But if you look at some of the, the second tier cities, uh, you'll notice that the concept of public transport is, is truly awful. So driving is the way to be in the States and lower oil prices mean people keeping their old, old, uh, old cars uh, running 